Hello, everyone. I'm Amira Saad Badron, Associate Professor of Pediatric Dentistry and Dental Public Health at the Faculty of Dentistry and Champs University. Uh, the title of my project is Designing and Validating a Community-Based Educational Course to Engage Dental Students in Training Community Oral Health Workers. The project is under the supervision and advice of Professor Dr. Reda Mansour. The rationale behind my brochure project was based on the scarcity of life and community engaged experiences in the current dental public health curriculum. Most curriculums uh, focus on theoretical topics and the used uh, teaching methods are all based on theoretical methods such as uh, lectures, seminars, reading and writing assignments and this lead to the loss of interest and the loss of engagement from the side of the student. Accordingly, the idea of the project was to develop a community-based educational a course that would engage the student in clinical experience that would make them uh, enjoy the course and uh, be more uh, active and participating in a better way. The project was designed uh, to be implemented over uh, two stages or two years actually. The first year, it was planned to start by identifying the gaps in the current curriculum. It was going to be achieved by developing and designing a structured self-administered questionnaires that would be distributed to the students and the staff members who are teaching the ORT curriculum so that we would be able to know where are the gaps and where are the problems. The, the second step would be to build the capacity of the team. We, we will choose a team of the staff members from the pediatric dentistry department. This team will be trained in order to be able to design the course. Stage two, uh, or the second year outcomes, would be to design the course, taking into consideration the gaps that were present in the previous uh, course, and then to validate the course. This would be done by uh, internal validators from the uh, experts from the university and external uh, validators from outside the university. And finally, the last step was to implement the course and teach the new course uh, during the uh, upcoming academic year. The timeline for the project uh, is presented in this Gantt chart. It was um, planned to start by Jan 2022 and end by Jan 2023. What went properly with the timeline uh, was that we started actually on Jan 2022 by selecting uh, the, the members of the team from the uh, department staff members. Uh, and then uh, a detailed comprehensive uh, proposal was written by myself, the main investigator, and also uh, development of the questionnaires for the students and for the staff members and planning for the focus groups. All this was done on time properly. By March, the proposal was submitted to the ethical committee uh, at the faculty and the ethical approval was retrieved by April. It was planned that uh, the dissemination of the questionnaires and the implementation of the focus groups was going to take place on, on April. However, this did not work exactly as planned. Uh, we had to postpone this step till June uh, due to the engagement of the students in uh, their um, uh, coursework and uh, in their assessments. So we weren't able to do this on time. And also uh, the questionnaires for the staff members was postponed to August due to um, uh, the course load uh, for the staff members who weren't able to participate before this. And accordingly, the data analysis was postponed to be done next month on September and also training of the team. And we will start designing the course by October, November, and uh, validation will be done uh, by December. And hopefully uh, by Jan, uh, the poster uh, will be ready to be presented. Changes that were made to the project. The first change that we made to the project was that the step of teaching the course by the next year, this was postponed due to the delay that occurred in our timeline. So we won't be able to finish and uh, teach the course next year, so this was postponed. Uh, also, uh, the part concerned with the qualitative research, the focus groups and uh, group discussions, we weren't able to, to, to do this on time because uh, we lacked the experience with the semantic analysis of the qualitative data. This was a problem that we faced. The lessons learned in terms of what uh, did we do well uh, actually, a very important thing that we did and helped us a lot during the project was that we had a pre-mortem plan. We planned from the very beginning, we expected problems, uh, we anticipated some uh, obstacles that might occur, and we started by suggesting alternatives and solutions for these problems, and this, and this helped us a lot. So the lesson learned here is planning or developing plan B and C and D from the beginning of your project makes a lot of difference. 
in terms of what could we improve, definitely uh, sticking more to the timeline. This is a thing that we could improve and we should work on in order to compensate for the delay that already happened. In terms of problems we could have avoided, definitely we could have avoided to postpone the qualitative part of the study. This We would have done this by uh, uh, building capacity of one of the team members uh, to do the qualitative analysis. If we did this from the beginning, uh, we wouldn't have been delayed by now. Uh, or maybe if we recruited a professional to help us with the uh, thematic analysis, this is a thing that we uh, would have avoided problems if we did from the beginning. Thank you so much.